Why EHR interoperability is important? Interoperability is the capability of medical devices and technologies to share, explain, and showcase health data in an easily digestible form, whenever and wherever a patient receives care. EHR interoperability enables the flow of health data seamlessly between care provider and other healthcare systems, participating in the care delivery of the patient for better decision-making. Benefits of EHR interoperability Portability and accessibility Interoperability results in increased transparency, portability, and accessibility, which allows health information to be accessed and shared by healthcare professionals with ease. Collaboration Health records can be securely shared with patients and other clinicians and healthcare settings to enable coordinated patient care. Collaboration allows for better and more timely decision-making, particularly in critical situations. Efficiency and cost savings Physicians and other medical staff require having the right information at the point of care. If they lack specific information, they consume more time getting the information. Interoperability leads to better health outcomes with more accurate information. With interoperability, different stakeholders, such as physician practices, hospitals, urgent care centers, pharmacies, and specialized medical centers, collaborate using interoperable systems that allow different systems and applications to communicate with one another. Patients' medical records follow them throughout the healthcare system, and different stakeholders involved in the care of the patient can seamlessly collaborate with each other. Interoperability results in improved efficiency and cost savings, as data sharing conserves the time and effort of staff. Typically, there are seven different levels of interoperability. Level 0, or we can say, no interoperability. Standalone systems which don't have interoperability. This involves systems that cannot share information and restricted to individual system boundaries. Level 1, or technical interoperability. This level of interoperability uses a communication protocol for sharing data between systems. It deals with technical aspects of interoperability like communication protocols, interconnection services, and data exchange format. Level 2, or syntactic interoperability. This level implies the capability of two or more systems to share data and services through mutually interoperable protocols like high-level architecture. Level 3, or semantic, interoperability. This interoperability specifies the ability of two or more systems to positively decode the information exchanged meaningfully and exactly to generate favorable results as defined by end users. Semantic interoperability means that the actual meaning of shared information is understood by communicating systems. Level 4, or pragmatic, interoperability. This level of interoperability is acquired when the interoperating systems know the methods and procedures that they are using. Level 5, or Dynamic Interoperability Two or more systems are said to have dynamic interoperability when they understand the state changes taking place, and they are capable of taking advantage of those changes. And finally, Level 6, or Conceptual Interoperability Conceptual interoperability is attained when assumptions and constraints of purposeful absorption of reality are aligned. Some Obstacles to Interoperability Patient identification. In the absence of a consistent way of uniquely identify an individual patient, misidentification is a serious problem. Allocating a unique patient identifier to each individual is one way to make sure that hospitals can share medical health records effectively and more accurately. Absence of common standards. Presently, the healthcare technology provided by today's vendors makes it tough to copy and share information from one electronic health record software to another. Mismatched formats and data fields mean that at first data needs to be manipulated and isolated before being introduced into another system. A few different standards development organizations define, create, update, and manage health data standards via collective processes, but there is no common single standard yet. The lack of standards for gathering, communicating, sending, storing, and managing health data is a major obstacle to healthcare interoperability. 
vendors blocking information. Lack of data sharing in healthcare is a headache. A major bottleneck to healthcare interoperability is the practice of data blocking from the vendor's side. A study published this year highlighted that information blocking is still all over the place, and policies are ineffective to curb the practice. By mandating some level of data sharing by government regulations will help in shutting off information blocking. If efforts are successful, then slowing down information blocking will help to make sure that information follows across provider organizations, which in turn will improve efficiency and quality of care. Lack of analysis and measurement. As one of the sayings goes, you can't improve what you can't measure. Hence, it's difficult to measure the costs of error rates that occur when healthcare systems do not communicate with each other in a useful way. Due to the lack of ability to measure or trace outcomes, health systems and other healthcare providers can't boost their important processes, and this results in a lack of initiative to improve interoperability. The challenge faced by healthcare providers and their vendors is the lack of a standard way to measure the influence of interoperability problems. Once the healthcare industry can control these issues across healthcare systems, they will be able to analyze problems and make changes, and can also measure how those changes can boost the quality of care and patient outcomes. The government's action for encouraging interoperability is a significant boost for healthcare interoperability. The good news is that tremendous progress towards interoperability is being made by some standard bodies like Health Level 7 or HL7, and Fast Healthcare Interoperability Resources or FHIR Standards Group. With some efforts, interoperability can and will be attained, but needs a good deal of effort like all other things. Thank you for watching.